How's it going, fish fam? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be checking out another episode of My Hero. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, what's up? My name is Gabe. You can also find me at Spartanfish pretty much everywhere on the internet. Now, when we last left off, um, we unfortunately had Star and Stripe actually lose to Shigaraki. I know from seeing a lot of comments on a bunch of videos throughout the week that a lot of people felt like Star and Stripe was underutilized or they were like upset that she died so early. Don't get me wrong, she's like a super badass character. That being said, I feel like in the grand scheme of things, like she did accomplish a lot. There are very few people who have gone like one-on-one -on -one with Shigaraki slash all for one and have made some sort of a meaningful impact. If we go back to like season one, then yeah, like Eraserhead was able to kind of hold off Shigaraki a little bit. You know, the only person who's really been able to square up with All For One in a meaningful capacity one-on-one -on -one has been All Might. So to see her be able to stand up to him greatly diminish his effectiveness moving forward, I feel like, yeah, she died, and it sucks that we lost such a cool character so early on, but it's like it's still kind of a dub in my opinion. But you know, tell me why I'm wrong down in the comments, I guess. Uh, I, I don't think I have a ton left to say, so let's just get into it. Star Getting a little bit of a recap. Bro, she went like Giga Brain with it. She was like, okay, if I'm gonna lose, I'm taking you with me, bro. Are we gonna get like a, tra a miniature like training arc pretty much then? Bro, what is Momo's new outfit, bro? How did they manage to get Momo into like even less clothes than she was in in the previous seasons? Like, I. Come on, bro. Come on. She can still use her quirk if she's wearing, like, pants. It's not that serious. He's no longer Shigaraki, he's other me. Oh. So, oh, because he has access to them, he's still gonna be able to recover all the quirks? So I guess it's important to notice that he, like, has stolen some sort of, like, Uravity quirk that lets him manipulate gravity or, like, weight. <laughs> Bro, he's pissed. Mm. True. All thing is highly suspect. Is that, um... Whose quirk is that? Is he using, like, the, uh... I, I forget her name. One of, like, the, uh, pussycats. Possibly. Possibly. Like, she's able to, like, sense... quirks or, like, locate people. Bro, I love Kirishima. Oh, my God. There, there's so many characters in My Hero that I just love. And then there's Mineta. Hmm. Damn, bro, they're just all sparring each other. Because all of his sweat is nitroglycerin, so he just threw his fucking sweat at him. Dude, that's sick. That's sick. He can make tiny little bombs just by dropping sweat in the air. Bro is wearing like a, a fucking trash bag sauna suit so he can get hotter faster. Hell yeah, bro. Now he's not at like, it, he, he doesn't have such a strong like internal conflict. He's able to like use both of his abilities at the same time. Bro, that has to be a crazy cocktail of drugs to be able to keep Gigantomachia just asleep permanently. <laughs> that old nut sack. Yeah. Yeah. Right, that's who it was. It was Ragdoll from the Pussycats. Bro, Bakugou fucked him up. It looks like a- he really looks like a fucking zoomer now. He's got the broccoli cut. Bro, it looks like he's gonna go to the gym in uh, fucking flannel pajama pants. 
most zoomer coded superhero. <laughs> yeah, bro. No, she she made a huge difference with that. One quick thing I did want to mention, I am going on vacation this week. So this coming weekend, um, I'm not going to be posting the episode reaction for My Hero or Demon Slayer. Um, but let me know if the following week you would rather me do like uh, two double drop episodes or would you just rather me do like one and one? You know, you know what I mean? Like have a uh, have two My Hero videos or have one long My Hero video. Let me know what you guys would prefer and uh, I'll, I'll do that for next week. I, I am aware what is going on right now because of the manga. There, this is one thing that was spoiled for me because of the manga. I was I did not get fully caught up with the manga because of this. I just saw this panel and I was like, oh, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. And that's why they didn't fucking kill him when they found him hiding in the bushes at the training camp. Because he's a fucking op, bro. Bro has been a fucking inside man from minute one. That flashback, why am I so different? Everyone's like, aw, it's sad because he's a silly little French boy. Nope, that was not why. Br then why didn't you, dude? You let your kid do it. Yeah, and you were just watching at home. Damn. That fl oh, I forgot they even showed him there. Because they flashed to like everyone watching at home, watching that fight. But him watching that fight, he was like, oh shit. I don't have to be an op anymore. I don't have to betray my whole all of my friends. I can just be a regular fucking kid. Mama, there he, he, he's too smart for that. If it had been someone else, maybe, but... Yeah. And from Midoriya's perspective, it's like... He's still his friend that he wants to help. Even regardless of this situation. Damn. The Yuga Aoyama. Finally getting some character development, and it's him being a whole fucking villain. Buy a new one. Deku's not gonna fight him, bro. The, the rich family is like, all right, well, let's let's get tie in with the criminal underworld just because, you know, we're not getting the things that we want in life. Despite already being incredibly wealthy they're like well hmm. we don't want to be lower status than other people so we better get in with the criminal underworld fucking wild oh fuck bro his danger sense going off <laughs> Cause she can redirect light, bro. She's like the perfect match for him. Bro, is Invisible Girl about to throw hands? Damn, took out all three of them in a fucking instant, bro. Bro, despite everything, all he does is care about helping his friends, even in this fucking situation. Damn, dude. The, the principal's like, I'm about to do demon time. Y'all need to go. <laughs> Bro, it's crazy that he made it to 1A, considering, like, how timid he is in every situation but looking back every situation that he's been timid during is a situation that he had caused so he it's not that he was like trying not to use his quirk it's that like he's like well you know all for one doesn't want me to use he you know I, i've been told not to like fight 
so the only reason why he like appears so weak and so timid in all these situations is that like he's being told not to fight right <laughs> Hey, bro. That could have been you. Yeah, bro. Bro, I don't think he's like willing to stand up to him though. Like, is he going to be willing to take on that burden? Because I guess it kind of depends on like how much Deku has been able to like rub off on him right up to this point because everything he's gone through up to this point despite the fact that he you know was put into this situation because all for one wanted it to happen despite the fact that his like whole existence was kind of contrived by all for one up to this point in time like Deku was saying like he's still made genuine efforts to do the right thing when the situation allowed for it even if it would potentially put himself in danger because him going out of his way at the training camp to try and save Bakugo, to try and save Tokiyami, if All For One had found out about that, or if like the rest of the crew like had, like it, it could have just been like lights out for his parents, like at that moment in time, right? If he saves them and All For One, you know, wanted to, or All For One was like, you're gonna fucking go against our plan. Okay, that's it. Your parents are dead. Like. That very easily could have been the situation, and I'm sure at certain points throughout him taking that risk, that was something that was on his mind, but he was still willing to, like, go through that to save his friends. But how far is he willing to go now? Is he, you know, has he grown and progressed enough to be willing to take on certain hardships? It, it sucks that this is the one, like, twist kind of thing that got spoiled that this is like the one kind of like twist that got spoiled for me from the manga. This is the thing where if you had watched my previous video where I was like, relay to manga readers what information I was aware of without spoiling. Like this was the thing that I knew about just from getting spoiled from the manga. But like, this is pretty much the extent of where I was caught up with to the manga. And then when I read, when I saw like this panel pop up where he was like in restraints basically uh getting like questioned by the police i was like bro i can't read this anymore I, I this is going to ruin the whole show for me uh let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of this episode for those of you who you know watching it was your first experience or if you were reading it did this you know kind of twist take you guys by surprise was it something that you expected it's really cool how like set up it was um and how many like small sort of flashback tie-ins there were to this exact reveal it's it's kind of similar to like attack on titan in a way where once you are fully caught up with the show if you go back and watch season one of the show a lot of like really small minute details throughout those early episodes where you're like oh shit and with all that being said, don't forget to hit the subscription button down below. Make sure you tap the notification bell so you get notified the next time I post a reaction video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.